Hi everyone and thanks for joining us. My name is Gemma De Silva. I'm part of the Enscape team and today our webinar which is on the topic changing the way we visualize design is being held as part of this year's BOW 2021 online event which is actually running from today until Friday so 13th to the 17th of January. Um, so before we jump right in let me just mention that we will have time for Q&A today so if a question comes to mind as we're going through the presentation please, please feel free to add it to the chat pane and we'll get to those later on. So today I'm joined by my colleague Dan Monaghan who is Enscape's Head of Sales and Channel for the Americas and Dan is going to be talking about how visualization has evolved and we'll also share a few videos that actually show what's possible today thanks to real-time rendering tools like Enscape. So that's my short intro done. I'm going to hand over to Dan and we can get started. Thanks Dan. You're welcome. All right, thank you, Gemma. And thank you all for tuning in to today's presentation. Uh, I'm gonna take the next 20 minutes or so and introduce Enscape and how real-time 3D is changing today's building and design process. Now, in today's presentation, I wanna share with designers who may not be familiar with Enscape or real-time rendering, the high-level benefits that Enscape offers. If you're already using Enscape, we're running a number of webinars over the next few weeks where we can take deeper dives into Enscape and explore how we do what we do. So please visit our website to learn more about our upcoming webinars. When people think of rendering and visualization, it's images like these that typically come to mind. But more subtle and maybe more important <clears throat> is how real-time rendering in Enscape improves design and communication. Visualization, visual representation has always been the cornerstone of the design practice. However, it's been isolated and disconnected from the design process. Today's process is fractured. We stop design in order to represent, we then collect feedback, then manually coordinate what we learned, and then restart at the next project milestone. But why? Why does rendering and visualization have to be separate from design? Why can't it be integrated and in, in part of our design process? Well, with traditional rendering technology, it can take hours or sometimes days to get at a high quality visualization. Correctly configuring textures and materials and lighting to achieve a realistic result is difficult and it demands specialized know-how, even then can require a lot of trial and error. As a result, in many firms, Rendering in 3D visualization is a task reserved for presentation and relegated to specialists in the firm, or maybe even subbed out completely. <clears throat> Real-time 3D is different. This next generation of visualization leverages new advances in graphics technology, the same rendering technology that you'll find in today's video games. And while the results are incredibly impressive, more importantly, the results are instant and very easy to achieve. It's the speed and simplicity that are the cornerstones to Enscape. Quite simply, Enscape is the easiest and fastest way to go from this to this. Now, for us, ease of use and speed, it's not jargon. These are really truths that are derived from the fact that Enscape is a plugin. It's not a separate rendering program. Unlike other rendering programs, you don't exchange files or manually sync models. Enscape natively plugs into your favorite modeling program, integrating into its interface and your BIM workflow. <clears throat> in fact, in many ways, Enscape is simply just another rendering way. If you know how to add a light or a material in your modeling program, you already know how to use Enscape. The results are just easier, faster, and way more impressive. Now, in today's presentation, I'm going to use Revit, but what I show works the same in SketchUp, Rhino, ARCHICAD, and Vectorworks. After installing Enscape, you'll see a new Enscape ribbon or tool set, depending on your modeling program. To start Enscape, just click on the Enscape start icon. Enscape will launch a new window where you can see your designs fully rendered. Any textures and lights you've set up in your BIM program will be automatically pick, be picked up in Enscape. And using the WASD keys in the mouse, we can immediately begin to explore our project in 3D. To find specific views, use your saved 3D views in Enscape to navigate around the model. Saved views will not only change your view, but will also show any visibility settings you may have saved. 
because Enscape plugs into BIM, modeling and visualization are now simultaneous. They're not separate. You don't have to stop design to visualize in a separate software. Now, visualization can be part of your design process. Any changes you make to your building model are instantly visible. <clears throat> in fact, in many Enscape offices, you'll find the architect with BIM open on one monitor and Enscape open on the other. It allows designers to instantly see how their design decisions affect the building's architecture and construction and helps them get to decision points faster. For example, in this Revit project, if we change this generic wall type to be a storefront window curtain wall, we can instantly see that design change in the nat how that design chain changes the natural daylighting in the room. And we can even see how that lighting changes over the course of the day. To instantly understand how much light is hitting our surfaces, Enscape can render a heat map so we can better understand where we may have too much or too little light. Better understanding the lighting helps us to validate our design decision. And if we're good, we can immediately move on to explore other design elements like color and material and artificial lighting. <clears throat> For example, from the Revit material browser, we can select a new flooring material from our library and change the flooring from this marble tile to a dark wood plank to better accommodate the natural light now in this space. If we switch to a nighttime scene, we could see the light sources that we've placed in our BIM model and begin to tune the lighting by adding additional light sources and editing the artificial light settings in Enscape. We could easily change a light's color or its intensity or define a light's value very precisely using an IES file. And because we're always working in our modeling program, our design and our visualization are always in sync. For example, if we insert a, insert a table and chair grouping into our modeling program, you can see immediately that they display correctly in Enscape. And if you delete objects, they're deleted in both your BIM and your visualizations. With Enscape, there's only one model, so a change anywhere is reflected everywhere. Streamlining communication is another huge advantage of real-time rendering. As a designer, Enscape gives you new ways to communicate to owners and others on the design and construction team. With Enscape, we can immerse stakeholders into our projects and walk them through even the most complex BIM models. Team members can get a feel for spaces and see how elements are going together. They can check the qualitative parts of our design. We can perform visual inspections with the team, catching errors that may be missed in plan view, and investigating errors more thoroughly that are caught by maybe automatic clash detection programs. Here, for example, we can see that this window is not placed correctly. If we right click on the window, we can note the issue in Enscape's new BIM collaboration features. We can quickly define a state, a title, and a description for our issue. And once saved, these issues automatically become part of the project file and can be synced to external collaboration tools. Or because Enscape and modeling are linked, instead of commenting in Enscape, we can easily fix problems like these on the fly by simply updating our BIM model. And because not everyone will want to communicate will have access to Enscape or the BIM model, we can easily share projects like these by creating a self-running EXE file, or we can send clients a link where they can view projects from any browser running on any device. This is also a great way to take Enscape projects on site and into the field. And we can do all this with or without VR goggles. Another advantage of real-time 3D is it, it can help you win more work. Uh, for some clients, the quality of your presentation is really a reflection on the quality of your firm. Enscape will elevate and distinguish your firm. It will help it to set it apart from your competition by allowing your designs to be seen and experienced really like never before. For early stage design, when we don't want clients reacting to colors and materials, we can render scenes in one of Enscape's abstract rendering modes. Then as we go through design, we can gradually layer in more information as needed. With the material set, we can use the BIM objects in our modeling program or the assets in Enscape asset library to build out our final scenes. New in Enscape 2.9 is the ability to create custom assets, 
and the introduction of video textures. We can apply video files as textures to represent any screen or to create effects like fire in a fireplace. If we switch to an exterior scene, you'll notice by default that Enscape adds a sky. In the visual settings dialog, you can control some of the atmospheric effects of the scene. For example, we could easily edit the sun's brightness, And there are some fun settings that control how clouds are displayed. For accurate sun studies, we can set the sun's position at a specific, specific latitude and longitude and animate the sun's path as it moves through the sky. As we transition from day to night, we can also adjust the night sky. Here, for example, we can change the size of the moon. And we can also change the brightness of the nighttime sky. To give our site some context, we can select a background from Enscape's default background library. Or with a 360 degree camera, we can go out to our site and actually snap a picture and use it as a background in Enscape. So you can get your actual site as a background for your project. For marketing, we can export still renderings for presentation boards and websites. We can create 360 degree panoramic scenes that clients can navigate on their own. and create stunning animations and virtual reality projects that really showcase our work. I want to take a second and look at the new Enscape 2.9 release video as an example of what you can achieve with Enscape and some simple post-production. Pretty impressive. Now, all that video for that animation came from Enscape. We used a little post-production to add the text flyouts and some of the transitional effects, but it's a really great example of what you could do with the software. If you would like to try Enscape and experience real-time rendering for yourself, please visit our site and download a free trial. It's really a great program and the perfect companion to any building modeling process. Um, Enscape's a program that really anyone can learn and it's something that you can use on every project. It really promises to empower your design process. You'll be able to instantly see and validate your design decisions very quickly. It shortens the feedback loop and really helps you communicate your design intents. And ultimately it will help you win more work and really deliver more projects than, than ever before. Um, 
I really want to encourage everyone who's not familiar with Enscape to please go and download the 14-day trial. And uh, I really appreciate you guys tuning into today's webinar, and we look forward to seeing you at a future Enscape webinar. And with that, I'd like to open it up for questions. Gemma? Brilliant. Thank you so much, Dan. That was really great. Um, and Dan actually mentioned at the start of the presentation that we regularly hold webinars. So every month uh, we hold a, a variety of different webinars and you can find those on our website. So I'm going to chat the link out to you now. So do take a look at that and see if there's any that are of interest to you and you can register and join for free. Great. So yes, we have had a couple of questions come in. So let's start off with Great. what are the hardware requirements to get started with Enscape? Uh, that's a good question. So Enscape perform, performs its rendering using, using the graphics card. So it's really GPU intensive. If your CPU and RAM are capable of handling a BIM program like Revit, for instance, you'll have you'll have you'll be more than capable of, of running the software. Um, you do need to uh, have a good CPU, uh, GPU, excuse me. And so we recommend the NVIDIA GeForce uh, GXT1660. Uh, or an AMD equivalent with four gigabytes of, of VRAM. Uh, Gemma, I think we have, you could also, if, if you just Google Enscape system requirements, you'll also be able to find the system requirements on our website. We could also chat that out yeah. after this presentation. I'll yeah. have a, I think I've included those in the follow-up email. So yeah, there is a link to that in the email that will come out with the recording Great. of the webinar. Um, another question has come in about VR. So we didn't actually talk much about virtual reality, but that is uh, something that's possible with Enscape, very simple to use. Um, someone has been asking about the hardware that we'd recommend to use with virtual reality. Um, sure. So just uh, the, the, the system requirements, we would recommend at least an NVIDIA GXT 8, a 1080 graphics card with eight gigabytes or better for a smooth VR experience within Enscape. Uh, for less complex projects, uh, the, you know, um, these are kind of the official requirements and they'll be great. Um, for the headset, we we like, uh, we really support all the headset, the, HT, the HTC Vive and the HTC Vive Pro, the Oculus Rift and the Oculus Rift S, they're, they're all really great for VR in Enscape. Fantastic, thank you very much. And uh, we also have a few articles on the blog about virtual reality. And all different types of uh, topics as well. So I'd encourage you to check out our blog and uh, get some top tips there on how to use it, get the most out of it. Yeah. So another person's asking here if there are any sample files, uh, any sample files that they can use to try out with Enscape. Yeah, that's a good point, Gemma. So when you download the 14 day trial um, under the learn section on our website, you'll find some great getting started videos that will help get you up and running quickly. And then there's some free project files uh, for all of the BIM programs that we support that you can open up and begin to navigate and explore Enscape right away. So if we could also put those kind of in the chat panel um, and we can, and so customers can find those as well very easily, Gemma. Fantastic, yep, will do. Um, a few questions about um, additional tutorials. So do we have any video tutorials on how to get started? With Enscape. Um, so, yeah, so I just kind of mentioned the video tutorials on our site, the getting started guides are great. Um, and then the program itself, it really is easy to use. Um, like I said, you know, the most of the interface and adding textures and lighting material, they're all coming from the modeling program. And what we're doing is just taking that material and rendering it. Um, the support that we have is, is really fantastic. So there's a huge active community um, of Enscape users where you can, and a forum where you can post questions. Um, support is free with every purchase, so if you have to, technical support questions, we can um, we can answer those questions via email um, or even a phone call. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Those are all the questions that we have today. Thank you so much for everyone for joining. Thank you, Dan, for presenting as well. Um, yeah, you're welcome, John. It was fun. <laughs> good, good, good. Um, so before we, well, before you leave the webinar, there is actually a, going to be a short survey that will pop up on your screen. Um, we'd really appreciate it if you could provide us with your feedback. It's really important to help us make these sessions better and better. So if you could complete that, we'd really appreciate it. Um, and as I mentioned, you'll receive a copy of the recording via email in the next few hours. And we'll also send you a couple of extra useful links. So keep an eye out for that. So with that, thank you so much, everyone, again, for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your day and hope you can join us on another webinar soon. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Dan. Bye, Gemma. <laughs> Bye.